aware of your history. Welcome to Sunny Side Vlogs. And today, we are going to count the 11 things that Ifugao's might didn't know yet. Here we go. Number 11. Did you know that Ifugao's didn't use a single nail to make native houses before? Number 10. Elders in Ifugao's speaks more fluently in English than today's millennial. Do you agree? Number 9. Did you know that Kangan is the oldest town and the first capital of Ifugao before Lagao? It is due to the harsh landscape of Kangan which made it unsuitable for public transportation. Number 8. Did you know that mostly Ifugao's inherit their nicknames from their ancestors? Like Dolnuan, Bugan, Habiling, and many more. How about you? What's your nickname? Number 7. Did you know that Spanish had great difficulty in taking over Ifugao, like most of the Cordilleras due to the fierce belief of the Cordillera people of their rights since ancient times? The Ifugao battled colonizers for hundreds of years, even after the state was colonized and was transformed into a part of Nueva Vizcaya province of the Spanish-administered Philippines. Number 6. Ifugao became the center of warfare in the last year of World War II when Gen. Tamayuki Yamashita launched his last stand against the American and Philippine Commonwealth forces at Mount Napulala. He informally surrendered to Captain Grisham of the 6th U.S. Army in the Philippines based in Kangan, then formally surrendered at Camp John Hay on September 3, 1945. Are you aware? Number 5. Did, did you know that Afugao values kinship, family ties, religious and cultural beliefs? Afugao are unique among all ethnic groups in the mountain province for their narrative literature such as the Hudhud, an epic dealing with hero ancestors sung in a poetic manner. Number 4. Did you know that, since 1992, the province has observed every September 2nd as Victory Day? Commemorating the valor of Philippine War veterans and the surrender of General Yamashita in the municipality of Kiangan on September 2, 1945. Now you know why Ifugao celebrate Victory Day. Number 3. Did you know that the Punic from Hunguan, of the Ifugao? was inscribed in the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2015 under the multinational inscription of the tagging rituals and games element. Number 2. Did you know in 1995, the rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List? The inscription has five sites, the Batad Rice Terrace Bangan Rice Terraces, both in Banawe, Mayoyao Rice Terraces, in Mayoyao, Hunguan Rice Terraces, in Hunguan, and Nagakadan Rice Terraces, in Kiangan all in the Afugao province in the Philippines. The Banawe Rice Terraces is not included in the inscription but may be included through an extension nomination to UNESCO, along with other rice terraces sites in other Philippine Cordillera provinces. Number 1. Did you know that in 2001, the Hudhud Ni Alagayan or Hudhud Chants of Afugao became one of the first 11 masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity in 2001? The element was inscribed in the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2008. Are you proud? There are so many things to learn being an Afugao, something that we don't usually learn in school. Hoping that this video makes you more aware in the name of your province that you're proud of make time with your Apu or elders. Take your time to ask. Thank you for watching. From Sunnyside Vlogs. Hagayo.